Hi everybody, okay, I'm coming to you today with the 17 random questions tag. I was tagged by Meg, aka Solon X Riot 182. Uh, this is gonna be the last tag video I do for a while because by the time it's said and done, you guys could write a book about me. So, here we go. Number one, how did you get your YouTube username? My YouTube username is Ms. Brenners. Uh, my first name is Brenda. Uh, actually, Brenner's is a nickname that I picked up a few years ago. I started getting called that uh, due to my first name. And the Miz is, I guess, just to put a diva spin on it. So, nothing too creative or not a big story behind it. Sorry. Number two, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? I kind of like my name. I didn't when I was growing up, but, you know, I'm 30, so I guess after 30 years of having the same name, it kind of grows on you, I guess. Number three, if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? This will mean nothing to you guys, but my greatest advice I would give myself is avoid the little man. Avoid him at all costs. Number four, how old were you when you first learned to blow a bubblegum bubble? I have no idea. <laughs> um, maybe six or seven? I don't know. I don't remember chewing bubblegum much when I was really young. So that's my answer. Number five, what did you want to be when you were little? I actually have always wanted to be a doctor ever since... I can possibly remember I said I wanted to be a doctor. Uh, what type of doctor has changed over the years? When I was little, I wanted to um, help people have babies because babies were the best. And then as I got a little bit older and I was in my latter teens, I wanted to be a surgeon. Uh, I ended up becoming a young mother, so a lot of things become put on hold. And I went into the nursing field where I worked for quite a few years and recently just went back to school to start working on my master's degree and I hope to then go on to get my PhD and go into postdoctoral study for neuropsychology so I want to be a doctor of neuropsychology and that is what my goal is so there it is and I apologize for the glare on my glasses for some reason anti-glare is not my friend today let's see number six what do you order at Starbucks I like cold coffee, so I always order the, uh, what is it called, the mocha chip frappuccino, something like that. It's got lots of little chocolate chip, coffee chips or whatever, and it's just absolutely delicious and makes me feel hyper and alive and wakes me up. What's the hardest you have ever laughed? Number seven. Gosh, I have a family of six. It's me and my fiance and four kids. There is always something to laugh about, but... Hmm. Recently, I recall me and my mother were talking about a story of when my little sister was younger. We're seven years apart in age, so she's much younger than I was. I remember uh, she used to ask uh, my dad for a dollar and quarters every day for school. And uh, I'm assuming popsicles, something like that at lunch. But anyways, um, they were commenting on what she'd gotten at school, and she said, well... I like to get, I think it was a cookie this day. She was like, I like to get a cookie. And my dad said, well, how much are cookies? To which she said, they're 50 cents. And he said, then why do you need a dollar and quarters? And she says, I like to give them all four quarters so I get 50 cents and change back. And for some reason, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And I died laughing. <laughs> and I still do. Um, number eight, if you could play any musical instrument, what would it be and why? I actually do play musical instruments. I play the piano, uh, which of course includes keyboards, what have you. Uh, I can somewhat play the guitar, lead guitar. I cannot do like uh, rhythm and bass. I, those just, I don't know, maybe they're too simple. I like, you know, making the melody of the song. Um, and I also play percussion. I play the drum. So there you go. Number nine, what's your favorite thing to do when you are upset? Uh, when I lived in the city, it was definitely shopping. 
which is dangerous, as Meg said in her video. Wow, that can really become costly. Um, now that I live in the country, though, and we're out on the ranch, when I'm really upset, I find that I just kind of like to go in my room, shut the door, lock myself away for a little bit. Sometimes I... I read and it can be very various what I read. I love philosophy so a lot of times I'll crack open some Plato or um, Jean-Jacques Rousseau or something of that nature and I will just kind of read a little bit and usually I find myself calming down pretty fast. Um, number 10, what's your favorite movie? I believe this is a question in my last tag video but of course that is The Wizard of Oz. I collect it, love it. Uh, number 11, what's one food you cannot live without? I am originally from Northern California. I love me some Mexicali food. So the one thing I could not live without would be Mexican food. Any variety, I don't care what it is. Chile verde, burritos, tamales, enchiladas, you name it, I gotta have it. Uh, number 12, what's your favorite dessert? Hmm, I'm a huge chocolate freak. I love some chocolate, so really chocolate anything. Um, I love cheesecake. Surprisingly though, I'm not a big fan of anything that has chocolate and cheesecake combined. For some reason, it just does not taste good together to me. Um, I do like dove chocolates, I guess. That's kind of my little uh, guilty pleasure. Number 13, favorite pizza topping. I do not like traditional pizza. I absolutely cannot stand marinara sauce. So, I uh, usually, when it comes to a pizza topping, my number one requirement is a change in the sauce, simply because I hate marinara, so I usually will do, like, the uh, Alfredo pizzas or the taco pizzas, anything that doesn't include a marinara. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of, um, there's a restaurant here called Boston's, I don't know if it's across the U.S. and everybody knows about it, but anyways, um, at Boston's they make, like, an Alfredo... Uh, pizza with uh, some grilled chicken and some pineapple and spinach and different things and I really like that so uh, number 14 would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible definitely invisible I don't want to read minds I uh, I don't want to know what everybody thinks of me to be quite honest with you uh, number 15 what did you do for your last birthday I didn't want to celebrate my last birthday. I turned 30 on July 18th and I was bound to determine to not turn 30, but my family's thought otherwise. So um, I actually live in the Black Hills in South Dakota. So uh, my fiance and myself and my, uh, it was just three of my children on that day. My oldest was away at that time. Uh, we went to Custer State Park and then we went to a really nice little restaurant and uh, kind of an eclectic place and I believe we had some grilled steaks and then just kind of came home and spent the rest of the evening with each other so I actually really enjoyed myself I'm kind of simplistic that way so to me that was really nice uh, number 16 if you had one personal selfish wish what would that be and why hmm Gosh, I really have two. <laughs> I'd like to say it would be to snap my fingers and be skinny again like I was before I had four kids, but uh, let's say be rich, because if I was rich, I could just cosmetically go to the plastic surgeon and make that happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess it would be to be rich. Uh, number 17, what does OMGHHKP mean to you? Uh, just like Meg said in her video, I know that that is actually a phrase that Blair uses. Uh, exactly what it means, I don't know. I'll be honest, I felt like an idiot for not knowing because I'm thinking that I'm just totally lacking in worldly things because I didn't know what it means, so I looked it up on the internet. And there was so many different variations of what people thought it meant. I have to share with you the funniest one, though, was somebody thought that it meant oh my god, Hulk Hogan's kipper penis. And so at that point, all I could think about was Hulk Hogan and his penis and those little, like, pickled kipper snacks that come in a can. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's what it means to me. Now I'm going to forever think that every time she says that, I'm going to be thinking of Hulk Hogan and his disgusting little member. So anyways, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Pretty random stuff there. Um, I tag all of my viewers. 
and I hope you guys have a wonderful week if I don't meet with you guys in this week. So, bye. Peace. Share the love.